weapon of choice for soldiers of the former communist bloc, the so-called assault rifles known as the AK-47 and AK-74. But now, an East Tennessee company who imports them and modifies them so they're street legal here is facing questions from the federal agency who controls gun making and sales. Volunteer TV's Gordon Boyd is just back from Blunt County, where the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms has taken dozens of crates from Tennessee Guns International. Gordon? Lauren, thanks to gun law changes of the past quarter century, you can't sell these rifles as is. That is fully automatic. They come in broken down as parts. According to its website, TGI, Tennessee Guns International, has been doing that with Soviet bloc guns for more than a dozen years, selling the AK through distributors for about $500, and apparently doing so by the hundreds. Inexpensive ammunition, target, shoot, hunt, collect. They're very adaptable to whatever you want to use them for. Moderately priced, too, which is why Knox County's Jonathan Perkel says his Coal Creek Armory sells two or three hundred AK-74 rifles every year, and why his gunsmiths have done contract work for importer Tennessee Guns International. They run a good organization from what I know. I, I can't imagine what, they, what, the, what the problem could be. A TGI spokesman will say only that his company is, quote, cooperating with an investigation that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms launched as part of a routine audit. Audits, Perkle says, which are never simple. His last took more than two and a half weeks. And they examine your records. They examine your inventory. Uh, they're making sure that you're actually transferring your firearms to lawful individuals. The ATF hasn't confirmed what it's taken, but it includes more than a half a dozen half trucks of what a field agent calls evidence removed from TGI's Louisville manufacturing facilities last week, including parts for AK-74s. Well, they're coming in as parts, where it's just a box full of various parts that are then going to be reassembled into compliant weapons. Something may have slipped by customs during importation, and you've alerted the uh, ATF that these items are here, we don't want them. And the ATF would come and take them away. No harm, no foul. Perkle won't speculate what the feds might have found. ATF's Nashville agent will say only that its investigation is far from routine, but what it removed came out by warrants. Owning certain AK-74s made before the assault weapons ban requires tax stamps and keeping the paperwork to prove you've paid that tax so you can prove it to the ATF that your gun is legal. Not paying that tax or making such weapons fully automatic again can buy you five years in prison and fines ranging from 50000 to half a million dollars. Again, the ATF says only that this is an ongoing investigation. No one is facing any criminal charges or penalties. The Nashville agent in charge will not say how long he expects this investigation to take. All right, an investigation will continue to cover. Thanks, Gordon.